One of my favorite comfort foods is French toast, but the truth is I almost never make it. Because I hate standing at the stove. Everybody's sitting at the table with their forks waiting for breakfast, and you have to make it one at a time. So I thought, there's got to be a better way. So I came up with French toast bread pudding, which is basically the same ingredients. It's just all done in one pan. So I'm going to put the challah in the pan. I'm actually using challah, which is like an egg bread. It's fantastic for French toast. But you can really use any kind of bread you like. Second layer is more important to look pretty, because you'll see it on the top. This pan is 9 by 13 by 2 inches deep. But you can really do it in any size pan you like. So for the custard, I need eight eggs, five cups of half and half, or you can use milk if you like. This is going to make a really good custard. OK, now for lots of flavor. Three tablespoons of honey. This is really good local honey. It's not easy to measure honey, but it doesn't have to be exact. Just want a little bit of sweetness in it. One tablespoon of orange zest. One teaspoon of vanilla. Just give it a little salt to give it, bring out the flavors. And just whisk all that together. It's really the same process of making French toast, but instead of dipping the challah into the mixture, I'm going to pour the mixture right over the bread. This makes a lot of serve eight people. OK, just going to pour this right over the bread and let it soak in. One of the nice things about bread pudding is you can actually do it with leftover bread. It actually soaks it in better if it's a little bit stale. OK, that's the custard. I'm just going to press it down a little bit so it soaks in. So it's time to bake the pudding. I'm going to put it in a, what's basically called a bain-marie, which is great for custard because it keeps it at a very low, even temperature. Remember, water is 212 degrees when it boils, so it never gets hotter than that. Hot tap water is just perfectly fine. So just pour it in really carefully because you don't want to get water into the pudding. About halfway up the dish. Perfect. Next, I'm going to cover it with foil for about half of the baking time. I'm going to cover the pan. This is one big piece of foil. If you don't have one big piece, you can make two smaller ones. Just make sure they're really well sealed. Make sure it's tented so it doesn't touch the bread pudding. Just make two slits in the top. I don't want it exploding in the oven. I'm going to bake it for 350 degrees, the first part, for about 45 minutes. Really carefully into the oven. So after 45 minutes, remove the foil and bake it for another 40 to 45 minutes. When it's puffed up and golden and the custard's set, it's done. Take it out of the oven, cool it slightly, and then dust it lightly with confectioner sugar. A little maple syrup. Ooh. You can really smell the orange in it. It's just fabulous. With challah mm, and custard. I think it's really good. That's heaven.